Good afternoon and welcome to this week's weekly weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in Peachtree City, Atlanta. My name is Dave Nadler. It is Thursday, January 27th, 2022. Main points looking ahead to the next few days is we will have a strong cold front pushing through late tomorrow afternoon, late Friday uh, into early Saturday morning. This will bring very cold and windy conditions to the area behind the front, uh, along with a few snow showers across the far northern higher elevation areas. We don't expect impacts to be um, very significant at all and isolated at best uh, with these snow showers. Uh, the main story is going to be the cold and the wind behind the front uh, late tomorrow night into Saturday. <clears throat> we do expect a warming trend early into uh, the middle part of next week with the next chance of precipitation uh, sometime middle of next week into the end of the week uh, as a stronger front uh, approaches the area. There's a lot of uncertainty with the models at this point with timing and how much rain and cold air behind it. Uh, but it is something to watch as we head into the early part of next week. <clears throat> so here's what we're looking at uh, Friday afternoon into evening. And again, this is tomorrow afternoon and evening. Um, we do expect a, a relatively dry uh, cold front to pass the area through the area late during the afternoon hours into the evening. Um, behind the front, you'll, you'll notice that the, the winds will definitely pick up from the Northwest um, and it will get much colder behind the front. Uh, we expect uh, uh, wind chills to be uh, pretty frigid. Um, we do expect a few light rain or snow showers across far north Georgia um, in the higher elevations. Uh, we don't expect this to amount to a whole lot. We expect impacts to be minimal. Uh, again, the main story uh, with this front is going to be the uh, gusty winds and the very cold temperatures driving in behind it uh, late Friday night into Saturday and through the weekend. So here's what we're expecting uh, with respect to winds. We do think that the uh, winds will gust at least in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range for much of the area, beginning uh, late Friday afternoon through the evening hours, through the night, Friday night into early Saturday. At times, especially over the higher uh, elevations of North Georgia, we, we could see some wind gust over 35 to 40 miles per hour um, at times. So uh, this could trigger a wind advisory um, for portions of the area uh, beginning sometime tomorrow evening and through the uh, at least the morning hours on Saturday. At this time, we don't have an official advisory out, but uh, definitely something we'll be considering um, over the next uh, 12 hours or so. So because of these gusty winds and the very cold temperatures coming in behind the front Friday night into Saturday, um, the wind chill values are going to drop into the single digits and even below zero across parts of uh, up far north Georgia. North central and northeast Georgia mountains will definitely be at or below zero with respect to wind chills Friday night into Saturday morning. So this is going to be the main story. Uh, again, uh, the very cold temperatures and the windy conditions will, will drive the wind chill values down uh, into the single digits um, and single digits below zero across a good portion of north Georgia. Uh, late Friday night into Saturday morning. The actual air temperatures is what you see on the left side. Again, everybody will be below freezing um, with a good um, significant hard freeze for a good chunk of the area, um, generally dropping into the teens and 20s Friday night into Saturday morning behind the cold front. On Saturday, uh, we'll rebound a little bit, but most of the area is going to stay cold, uh, generally in the 30s to lower 40s with temperatures struggling to get above freezing in the higher elevations of North Georgia. The graphic that you see on the right is departure from normal. So you can see that these high temperatures for late January even are still running about 15 to even 20 degrees below normal for this time of year. So we should be in the low to mid 50s for highs, uh, at least across parts of Atlanta, um, slightly cooler across far North Georgia, but again, with temperatures struggling to get out of the 30s to lower 40s across just about all of the area on Saturday, we're going to be running quite a bit below normal. And factor in the winds that will be eventually diminishing through the afternoon and evening hours on Saturday. But early in the day on uh, Saturday, when we're sitting in the 20s to lower 30s, those winds will really make the wind chills uh, feel uh, drop down into the uh, single digits and teens. Um, and that's going to make it, again, feel even colder and what the actual air temperatures are going to be on Saturday. Saturday night into Sunday, uh, again, another cold night on Saturday night into Sunday morning, but we do rebound on Sunday back to at least near seasonal temperatures uh, for this time of year, so that's some good news. And um, then and looking ahead into the early to middle part of the week after we drop off on Saturday into early Sunday, you can see this is for Atlanta. Temperatures will 
uh, get back up to close to normal uh, for the middle part of the week ahead of that next system that should be affecting the area sometime Wednesday through Friday um, across uh, across North and Central Georgia. <clears throat> These are the same temperature timeline basically for Macon. Uh, again, cooling off quite a bit uh, late Friday into Saturday and then early Sunday and then rebounding as we head into Monday and Tuesday back to near seasonal levels uh, for this time of year. So what about that middle to end of week system? There's a lot of model uncertainty at this time. We're continuing to monitor things, and I think everybody should definitely keep an eye on things as we head uh, through the end of the weekend and into early part of next week. Basically, what I'm showing you is two different models uh, Wednesday night. Um, this is sort of a snapshot of what things are expected to look like by Wednesday night into early Thursday. We warm up quite a bit, so any precipitation out ahead of these this next system is going to be in the form of rain. We could even see a few thunderstorms uh, by the middle part of the week. Uh, so model A is a bit faster uh, with the bringing in the heavier precipitation across the area Wednesday night into Thursday, where model B slows things down just a little bit, but still showing a pretty significant, um, you know, bout of rain and possibly some thunderstorms ahead of a cold front that should be moving across the area sometime by the middle to the end of the week. Model A is quicker, Model B is a little bit slower, and as I transition uh, into basically Model A showing you the front kind of clearing the area by Thursday night into early Friday, while Model B still holds on to that front just to the west of the area. So uh, again, there's some timing uncertainty, but we do feel pretty confident um, at least five days out, five to six days out, um, that we will see something come through sometime late Wednesday through Friday. Um, and again, details are a little bit uncertain, but we'll, we'll fine tune those as we get into the first part of the week um, next week as this system approaches. But in summary, again, we just want to emphasize that the main you know, story over the next couple of days is going to be this strong front moving through the area late tomorrow uh, into tomorrow night and early Saturday morning. That's going to bring in very cold uh, temperatures and windy conditions to the area. A few snow showers are going to be possible across far north Georgia uh, late tomorrow afternoon into Friday night, uh, but we expect uh, impacts to be minimal. If there is any sort of accumulation, it's probably going to be in the highest of elevations and, and most likely less than a half an inch or so. Uh, again, the main story is going to be the cold temperatures and the, and the wind chills as the windy conditions uh, pick up behind the front uh, Friday night into early Saturday. Um, we do expect, expect another cold night Saturday night into Sunday, but then Sunday temperatures will start to moderate a little bit, and that warming trend will continue into the early to middle part of next week with the next chance again of that of precipitation coming in. Could be as early as Wednesday, uh, but as late as uh, Thursday night into Friday, just depending on uh, the situation at this point. But uh, we do expect a, another front uh, with heavier rain to bring it, come in um, by the end of the week next week. Uh, we'll have to uh, continue to uh, fine tune those details and share those with you as they become available. So that again, that uh, kind of summarizes our weekly weather briefing for uh, North and Central Georgia. Um, again, if you need to reach us, there are various different ways. Um, you can continue to monitor the latest forecasts and guidance from our decision support page, which you see there in yellow. And of course, you can uh, follow us on uh, Twitter or Facebook with uh, graphics that we put out uh, daily, uh, just depending on the uh, current situation. But hope you have a good uh, rest of the day, and thank you for joining us.